this must be uh, quite a victory for you. Um, 1.46 billion in, fa in fines. Are you satisfied with the outcome? I think given what we set out mm. to do, um, to uncover as much anti-competitive conduct in the industry, I think in a period of 18 months, uh, to be able to reach um, such a settlement with so many firms mm. is a good outcome. You know, right. It could have taken much, much longer had yeah. we taken a different approach. So I think this, this is, was worth doing. Mm. So remind us what you investigated and what, what you actually found. So um, in 2009, mm. we had a few investigations, mm. just small investigations into construction, which then revealed how much bid rigging there had been. Mm. And around the same time, we had um, Group 5 come forward um, as an applicant for leniency, um, telling us also about many projects that had been rigged. And mm. so we decided that let's just approach the whole industry um, enable them to start on a clean slate and, you know, just say, mm. bring all the projects um, that have been rigged, let's try to resolve this through settlement rather than having to, in, ha having to investigate mm. all 18 companies. And so an in invitation was sent out to industry. Um, mm. Different firms um, declared different pro uh, pro projects. All in all, about 300 projects, but we could only prosecute 140 that were within the uh, period of uh, prosecution that's allowed right, within right. the Act. And, yeah. Um, all right, so, you know, some might say one and a half billion rand is a lot of money, but given the revenues some of these organizations are making and uh, had been generating, um, there's some that say this is actually a slap on the wrist in terms of the fines that were levied. Well, it's not completely out of line with mm. the fines that we typically um, levy, especially when it's a settlement. Yeah. You know, I think when companies, you know, it's, it's a balance. Uh, you save on resources, you save on time when you enter into settlements and companies come forth with information. Mm. Of course, in exchange for that, there is a bit of a compromise in that you can't go for the maximum penalty. You have to reward the cooperation and you have to also be forward looking mm. and think that we're going to get a settlement. They are going to make commitments about their future conduct. And if mm. they're found to engage in such bid rigging in future, then, you know, the, the punishment will be far more severe. Mm. So I think this is more of a deterrence, but not going um, the full hog. So uh, in terms of an outcome, what will this do uh, in terms of, I guess, it's fixed the construction industry? Is this... Uh, you said, you've mentioned the word deterrent. Will it deter others? Has this fixed the construction industry? To some extent, we mm. expect that it has because, you know, once you're in a cartel and it gets exposed, mm. you know, all those secret relationships, all those trust relationships yeah. between the people who have been colluding have been broken. Mm. And so now they know that the next company that, they're going to, that they want to go into a cartel mm. with is likely to approach the commission, mm. um, you know, in terms of not take, wanting to take the risk of prosecution. So I think mm. given that balance, there should be mm. more competitive behavior in the market. Some people would say that, look, this is actually fraud, you know, and that maybe criminal uh, procedures should be taken. Is there a view to criminalizing active competitive behavior? There is such a view. There mm. is actually an amendment on the books um, at the moment to mm. criminalize um, cartel behavior. Mm. There might be some issues about how we actually do it in practice. Mm. And that's why it's taking so long to have that um, amendment passed. But I think other than that, there already mm. are other public, uh, public agencies um, you know, the normal prosecutorial agencies that could also look into this conduct because mm. in some instances there are issues of um, insider information, racketeering, uh, fraud. So mm. already there are there's some recourse that the, the criminal system could have. Right, so the ANC says that uh, you should widen your investigations um, to other industries. Is that something you're looking to do? Well, you know, this is the first time we yeah. experimented with this approach of going for a whole industry right. and, and extracting information and settling in that regard. We think it's worked well. So I think when we come across another industry which lends itself to this kind of uh, prosecution, we would certainly go for it. All right. Well, we're going to have to leave it there, but uh, certainly a good win, I think, uh, for fair practice in business. So congratulations on that. And uh, thank you very much for joining us on the program. Thank you. All right, okay, so we were speaking to Deputy Commissioner Trudy Makaya.